Get your love life on a roll. Dinner and a date tonight at 10. You're young, professional, and tired of the bar scene. So how will you meet that special someone? My game plan is, is fairly simple, and uh, it is to be myself uh, and to, to, to meet all four women. So what is the game plan? You'll find out. It's our special report, Dinner and a Date. Thanks very much. And up next on Fox 5 News at 10, tired of the same old dating scene? Well, we've got something new for you. Paul? It's called Dinner and a Date. Four men, four women get together with some simple instructions. We'll tell you all about it coming up. Finding the perfect mate. For some, it seems no matter how hard they look, they always come up empty in the matchmaking department. Well, tonight we look at an alternative to the typical dating scene in our special report, Dinner and a Date. Fox Vice Paul Kenny joins us now live from Northeast Atlanta with the story. Paul? You know, Rush, you never know where you might meet Mr. or Mrs. Riot. It could be at a house party like what you see going on behind me now. Or another option, dinner and a date. The focus of our special report. A little wine, a little romance. For some, it's the beginning of the perfect date. Of course, finding that special someone can be tough. Not everyone can be as successful at the dating game as, say, Andy Nurahi. Who's he? I write the entertainment and nightlife column called Seen and Heard. It's in the Yes, top. he does. And for this story, that makes him somewhat of a dating expert. He goes where the singles go. Guys always seem more desperate. Uh, See, guys are told you he was an expert. And we'll hear again from Andy as the story unfolds. So, For now, meet Alessandra Eakin. I like this too. This is really cute. And Tony Costantino. And uh, I thought this would be a good shirt for tonight. They're going on a date. You don't want to look too provocative. Not with each other. Not really. They don't even know each other. But they will before the night's over. I am single. And looking for a serious relationship. Both of them. I think the, the single scene and the bar scene and all that. I bump into the same types of people. It's an exercise in redundancy. <laughs> Short term in nature. So it gets really boring really fast. Right. Their search for a meaningful relationship resulted in both joining a dating service called 8 at 8. Sarah Catherine Smith is the owner. 8 at 8 is um, a better way to meet because it's a group environment. It's less pressure. 8 at 8 caters to college-educated professionals, 21 to 40 years of age. Members pay 40 bucks and fill out a questionnaire. 8 at 8 does the matchmaking. This is how 8 at 8 works. Four single men and four single women with similar interests get together for dinner. Here are the eight. They're told to get to know each other, have a good time, and see what happens. And guess who's here? Tony and Alessandra. Both agreed to allow us to follow them through the process. Cheers! Cheers! My game plan is, is fairly simple, and uh, it is to be myself uh, and to, to, to meet all four women. I think if you go into it thinking, I'm certain this will be a lot of fun, then certainly it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. But if you go in saying, I'm going to be married, you know, by the seventh course, you, you will be upset. It's two four ounce fillets, they're gonna put some hollandaise sauce on top. The night out begins with drinks, appetizers, and small talk. Like when we beat them 51 to seven in the yeah. Fiesta Bowl. What do you do for China? You know, basically all the Microsoft. Right, products, the really? That's a perfect time to go out in Atlanta. Oh, very good, very good. All right. All right, yes. CXX, right? Does anybody else need another drink at the moment right now? Mm. <laughs> At the dinner table, Tony and Alessandra seemed to talk to everyone except each other. We were hoping for a love connection. But fear not, our expert, remember him? He says he's seen this tactic before. The ironic thing about dating is, is, is you find somebody that you're interested in in a bar and then you have to feign disinterest to get their interest. So. Interesting. 45 minutes into the dinner, Tony thinks he's found a match. He's got a thing for Alessandra. I think uh, I'm going to let dinner progress and um, get an more of an opportunity to learn more about Alessandra. Um, and then if, if, if things continue to, to develop... Then and, and he might ask for her number. But would Alessandra shoot him down? I think Brian's very handsome. This is Brian. Looks like Tony is out of luck. Or is he? Well, see, it's hard because 
because I think Tony's very attractive too. So if I make the move for one, then it's at the sacrifice of the other. But if I do nothing, I let them make up their mind. So that's the strategy. That's my strategy, yes. But will it work? A few people who have met at these A to A dinners have ended up married. Many more have gone on dates. Could this be the start of a life of romance for Tony and Alessandra? Or just another night out in the pursuit of finding the perfect mate? And look who's joining us right now. We have Tony and Alessandra just back from your honeymoon, right? Or <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what happened, Tony, first. Did you ever get her number? Did you call her? Did you guys go out? Uh, actually, yes, I did. I had the, 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 the privilege to call Alessandra, and uh, we plan on going out in the near future. Right now, you're playing hard to get Alessandra? I did, but it seems to have worked. <laughs> oh, really? So do you guys think, I don't know, you might hit it off, might go out a few times, or what do you think? I hope so. Alice Hunter is a very, very nice girl, and we had the opportunity to meet uh, that night at 388, and uh, I think so, yes. Okay, well, great. Good luck, you two. Maybe later on we'll check in and see what's going on. Thank you. Russ and Amanda, we'll toss it back to you. Well, All right. <laughs> got the casual arm around the shoulder. Looks like they're moving the right Love direction. Love connection. Who knows?